Hey everybody, today is April 28th, uh, Saturday, or Sunday I mean. I am here with the planner behind me. You can't really see it, but if I move this, you can it. Um, you're sitting on a pile of soybeans right now. I'm gonna fill up the planter with soybeans. I just finished getting that ready, and I'm hoping tomorrow to uh, start planting. So yesterday we got a little bit of rain. I don't know how much exactly, I was at home. I was down to State College for the Luke Combs concert. I had a good time, but it's time to get back to work now. But I probably would be planting some today. If I was home yesterday, I would have finished up the planter then, but um, it's got a little bit of sun this morning. And it's a little breezy out now, so I think, I think it be good to go tomorrow's supposed to be around 80 to 85 with sun and it'll be fields will be ready i'm sure it's the next day now guys i got the planter hooked up to the main planter tractor and i got it i got the depth twisted down a little bit because we've been doing soybeans um we're gonna go see what happens it's about 80 to 85 degrees out today it's a hot one for April 29th, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. So I'm down here to the field, went just a little ways. Uh, we're going to see how the depth looks. So all I got to do to check the depth is come out here with my knife, find a row, and just dig. Uh, right there, you can see a few beans. Uh, they're about an inch deep probably. I'd like them to be probably this row to be a little deeper. Yep, I just knocked a much more right there. So yeah, I'd like this row to be a little deeper. So just come over here to the row, flip this thing out of that little latch, and then I got a, um, let's see, I got a, Turn it this way to make it a little deeper. That should be enough from that row. Then we just go through rows one and six were good the first time, or one and four were good the first time I checked. So I'll just check two, three, and four and six. So I got all those rows adjusted now to the way I want them. We'll set the planter back down. Gotta let the marker cycle. Then I'm just gonna plant this field here four acre field it's close to home so homes right over there just not too far down the road it's a good place to start in case we have issues but. so just about finished with this field already i'm doing gonna turn around here do the last little pass this field never takes very long but it's a good one to start on this field is typically drier so that's why we normally start here too. Um, it is dry right now, like always, but yeah, I'm gonna, once I'm done here, I'm gonna run home, fill up the planter again with beans, and I'll probably head up to the heifer barn and plant those fields for a while tonight. So I made it up here to the old heifer barn, heifer farm, I guess. Um, filled the planter up before I came. Uh, going around, you can't really see out this window, it's a little dirty, but going around this whole big piece here, um, I'm not sure right off the top of my head right now how big it is, but right here on this side, we got strips that run back towards that little wooded area, so I'm doing them separate, but. Yeah, it seems to be planting real good. This is also one of our drier set of fields. Um, more gravelly up here, so yeah, that's why we're why we're going at it. So a lot of you were asking in the last video, some of your comments were why do we plant um, a certain crop in certain fields or how do we pick the varieties for the certain fields? So um, right now uh, we, since we sold the cows, we don't need as much hay and corn. Uh, so we took a lot, probably about 50 acres of hay out of um, 
production hay and it converted it into uh, corn and soybeans. So these fields up here at the old heifer farm um, are typically, we sometimes used to have a hay field and then the rest was corn up here. Um, but now it's all gonna be soybeans this year. So there with the soybeans, what we're doing now, we doubled our acres to 60 acres. So right now we are trying to figure out how a rotation. So every about three, four, three to four years at each field will have soybeans in it. So the benefit to growing soybeans is uh, the nitrogen that gets pulled up. So like up here, this is soybeans this year. Next year, it will be corn and the corn crop should be very good because of the nitrogen that is then available to the corn because uh, soybeans don't take nitrogen to grow or as much like corn does. So that goes with all legumes, soybeans one, alfalfa is another one and clover, things like that um, help with nitrogen there. So soybeans are um, different planting than corn. Some people plant them in 30 inch rows like we do with a regular corn planter. Some people go down to a 15 inch row. Some even go down to a seven and a half inch row. So there are benefits to all the different row widths. Um, but we've had good luck with what we've been doing with 30 inch rows and other people have luck with what they do with uh, the smaller rows. Um, soybeans, we plant them about an inch to an inch and a half deep. And that's just the monitor beeping at me. Um, need to go slow here. For those of you that have been around for a while, you may recognize this field here and a few of these houses. These are, this is where it flooded a couple years ago. So that bridge, I know the window's dirty, but that bridge over there plugged up with water and it flooded our whole field, knocked down a bunch of corn. That house was not there. The old house that was there was taken off the foundation and this whole house was flooded. And then a lot of you guys helped me raise money for these families. So I still really appreciate you guys for it and these families do as well. So with soybeans, you don't get the volume like you do with corn. With these soybeans, probably we're hoping to yield close to 60 acres as our high hole probably. Um, but with corn, you're anywhere from 150 to 200 a lot of places, um, if it's pretty good for around here. So that's with soybeans, you don't get as much, but um, you can sell them for much more than corn. So a lot of the varieties we pick with the corn are is really based off the relative maturity. So that's it gives you a number on each variety and that's the days to maturity. So around here we're planting a lot of probably 85 to 100 day corn. And as you get out west they're planting more 100 to 120 day. Um, our growing window is shorter, but that's the main thing we look at. The other thing is, the main thing we're looking at now with selling our corn as grain is the dry down and the test weight at harvest. So the drier your corn is when you harvest it, the less you need to dry it um, in a bin or through a dryer. So that cuts down on your costs at harvest significantly and uh, you get a lot more money that way because you're not um, burning fuel, drying corn. So last year we, uh, the corn wasn't exactly, the varieties weren't exactly how we probably should have had them because we had the corn ordered before we decided to sell the herd. So at that point we were assuming we were going to need a lot of silage corn, but right now, we only need probably 20 acres of corn every year to uh, fill the silo for the heifers. And that's a lot less than before, but now we just chop what we need 
combine the rest and yeah this year the corn acres are going to be about the same as normal we took a few corn acres out and turned it into oat acres so it'll be different this year growing some oats a lot of people around here do but we don't but this year we will the fields we're putting them on don't grow corn very well um, it's a lot of hill ground so we'll see how putting them up there do another thing that gets taken into account when you're planting is your certain fields some fields are drier than others some dry out quicker um, some have a lot of different soil types uh, like I said up here it's very gravelly if typically with corn we like to plant that fairly early because we want to get the corn up and growing really good when it can make a canopy and that is shading the ground between the rows um, makes a canopy so your weeds can't grow um, we like to do that before the July and August heat so uh, these soybeans are that's another thing with the soybeans on 30 inch rows they don't canopy as well sometimes but um, sometimes they do sometimes they don't it all depends on the season you get but yeah the with the corn and the relative maturity like I was saying earlier um, typically you plant your longer maturity corn first and then you work your way down to your shorter day varieties so like say you're going to plant today April 29th you're going to plant your 100 day corn and then by April or May 10th say you're finishing up around then and then you'll be down to your 85 day corn that gives you that makes your varieties kind of go in line and have the right amount of days they need to mature I guess if that makes any sense so another thing was with planting corn versus soybeans is corn we typically plant around 32,000 seeds per acre soybeans right now we're planting 144,000 seeds per acre I'm pretty sure is what I have it set at but that's another thing soybeans um, you're planting a lot more per acre however your cost of seed is much lower corn was around probably $300 a bag this year and that's 80,000 kernels per bag soybeans was I don't know how much probably around $80 a bag 80 to 90 and that's 160,000 seeds per bag I'm pretty sure but with corn you got to put on we put on a starter fertilizer ammonia sulfate and potash I'm pretty sure a mix of that and then later around June middle of June we go on top dress the corn and that's putting on nitrogen with soybeans we don't have to put on any fertilizer but we do have to spray them soybeans are a little harder to spray spray um, a lot of times now in Northeast PA here we've been getting what's called mare's tail um, roundup does not kill that but 2,4-D does 2,4-D does kill most soybeans though so we're switching over to a enlist soybean that so we can spray Roundup and 2,4-D on that's another thing I guess in all varieties corn and soybeans there are certain things you can spray on certain varieties um, with corn that's a lot easier to spray um, typically we spray Roundup as a first pass then later the first pass right after we plant uh, and then the second pass will go by after it's grown a little bit and we spray um, a few different things I'm not sure exactly I can't remember right now we don't do the spraying um, Judson's the feed mill and I guess everything store you can say just down the road we get all our fertilizer down there too and they do our spraying for us so we just tell them what we need done when and where and they do it so hopefully I answered um, those questions a few of you guys had um, as the video as I keep doing videos I'll be sure to answer a lot more of the questions that you guys leave me 
but yep, we'll just keep on planting. So dad just got here, up here, he's over there. He brought more beans up. So we'll get filled up again once I get to the end and then we'll keep on going. got filled up I went back and forth a few more times for some reason these corn stalks this year are getting wound up and everything it seems like but yeah still planting really good I'd say it may be just a titch on the wet side but I think it's it's about perfect for this time of year beautiful night out but we're gonna get as much of this done as I can can probably do another six to seven acres before I run out of seed. Uh, I'm not sure what the weather's going to do tonight. There's a chance of rain tonight and tomorrow, but we'll have to just wait and see. This mud isn't really picking up from where we're planting. It's more on the ends right down there. It's it's really wet. So when we're turning around on the ends, that's where the mud's picking up. So it's not bad right here. So it's about nine o'clock now. I've been planting for most of the night. I'm gonna be done now. I think I'm a, probably close to being out of seed, but I just can't see my mark anymore. Um, the mark doesn't matter as much with beans, but it's still very important to keep your rows straight. So I'm gonna be done for now, waiting for dad to come up and get me. We'll leave the tractor here tonight and then we'll come up tomorrow, fill up the planter back up with beans, and then get rolling again. Should be able to finish the rest of the acres here. There's probably another 15, maybe, 15, 20 acres to do. And then we gotta go home. We got um, 18 acres of beans to do at home. Um, we might do an extra 20 acres this year to make it 80 acres instead. We'll see, it depends on how many beans we have left over when we're done but yeah other than that uh that'll be it for this video thanks for watching thanks for all you guys coming back and watching all the videos again leaving lots of comments subscribing i really appreciate it so yeah thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time